Hi! In this lesson, we are going to talk about zero conditionals. That is, talk about situations that have effects and the possibility of them happening. Let's begin by saying, if you watch this tutorial, you will learn about zero and first conditional and the differences between them. Conditionals are statements that describe possibilities of things happening based on the condition of something else happening. Let's have a look at these examples. If you mix yellow and blue, you make green. If you freeze water, it expands. If you water your plants, they grow. If you need help in English, ask your teacher. If you want to help the planet, recycle your garbage. What do you notice about these sentences? What type of information do they give? That's correct. All the sentences are giving factual or true information that does not change according to the condition. Can you think of a few more conditional sentences that describe facts? What do you notice about the verbs in bold? How are they similar? Yes, both of them are in the present tense because they are factual. This is the zero conditional, since it is factual. The zero conditional uses the if clause condition followed by the main clause result. So, if followed by the simple present, followed by the simple present in the result. In other words, if this happens, then that happens 100% of the time. The zero conditional is used to describe things that are 100% facts, like scientific facts, rules, or give instructions, like in a game. So, when you are making a conditional sentence, ask yourself, is this a fact? Will the effect happen 100% if the cause happens? Are these the rules? Then, these are zero conditionals. But, what if we are not talking about scientific facts or rules, but about present possible situations that are likely to happen? Let's have a look at another set of examples that are a bit different. If you tell me what you need, I will buy it on my way home. If you get lost, I will meet you at the front gate. If you get the most goals, you will win the football game. If you are late, you will miss your flight. If you go shopping, I will join you. If we leave early, we will be on time. What do you notice about these sentences? What type of information do they give? That's correct. All the sentences are giving possible information that is affected by the condition. Can you think of a few more conditional sentences? What do you notice about the verbs in bold? How are they different? Yes, one of them is in the present tense and the other is in the simple future. That is, the first conditional, since it describes situations that are highly possible. First conditionals are used to explain conditions that have a high possibility of happening in the future. It's not 100% sure. It's a likely thing. It is constructed the following way. If followed by the present clause, followed by simple future tense clause. Can you think of any more situations that are likely to happen? Such as, if we understand this tutorial, we will be able to complete the exercise. Can you give it a try?